Today, we're gonna to talk about the CZ Shadow 2 Compact. It is all the rage this year. We got a bunch of rounds through it. We're gonna let you know what we think. America! right here the cz shadow 2 compact uh these things have been out for a little bit under a year now uh we have seen well we have enough rounds on them to have a pretty good idea of you know how we feel about it and how it's going to perform i think it's close to what 1500 probably new a lot yeah no this is this one here is steven's personal gun and um we have shot this thing a ton uh outside inside you know at, at distance fast accurate um yeah, we've, we've pretty much done it all. We've run through a bunch of rounds of this thing, and so we're going to do a review and uh, go over how we feel about it. Honestly, before uh, I shot this thing a lot, I thought that CZs were for competition people and hipsters. Um, I, I do like the way that they feel in my hand. I think that that's kind of what they sell. Like, the ergonomic grip, I think, is really important, and it's a huge selling point for the gun. But, uh, yeah, I was I was impressed, to say the least. For me, I started with a P10C as my carry gun, went to a PO7, and then now got the Shadow 2 Compact, and I absolutely love it. Yeah, and rightfully so. I think one another real big thing is that it came optics ready, so you don't have to do any like milling or anything like that. Um, that was huge, and the dots a significant advantage on that thing. Um, and back to grip, and uh, you know the way that it feels in your hand. I think that it being a shrunk down version of the full size Shadow 2 is just more of a competition gun, like a full size target gun. Um, it still feels good in your hand. Like it's not too big. It's not too small. It's kind of that, you know, happy medium, um, conceals relatively well, I would say. Right. And you've got that paddle holster and everything yep. for it. Um, yeah. How's it? What about comfort? Like you carry it. I'm so used to like 1911s originally when I started out. So the heavier guns mean nothing to me or right. so like this, it's aluminum frame. So I think it weighs like two pounds. Right. But it's not noticeable. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean it doesn't. It definitely doesn't feel super heavy in the hand. Um, like you said, it is an aluminum frame. I think the Shadow Two, the original Shadow Twos, were steel frames. Um, so not only is it smaller, but it's also relatively lighter. Uh, but you don't really feel that with a recoil. I mean, the grip is uh, the grip's fantastic. One thing that I really didn't like about it, one thing that, or one thing that I had trouble with at least, was the safety. Um, the you know if you're gonna you know run through drills and stuff and manipulate your safety coming in and out of a holster and whatnot, like it is relatively difficult to get a good purchase on it. Um, I had to really be like intentional and be on top of it. It is my understanding that they sell aftermarket safeties, like extended safeties, right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the regular Shadow Two uh, parts fit on a lot of the, a lot of the parts fit at least. You get mag compatibility and all that too. Yes, yeah, which yes. is nice. Yeah. So I mean, like, yeah, like the aftermarket part or the aftermarket stuff definitely you know supports it. All the Shadow Two stuff, which is that's cool. But yes. you can still carry decocked, so you can drop it down, keep it off. So right. you don't really even need your safety, but right, it's that real heavy, heavy trigger pull. It's like what ten point three pounds or something. It advertises, right? It feels much lighter. I don't know. The double action was really nice. Like we shot double action. It's 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 awesome. And I shoot strikers more often than not, and so that double action is usually pretty tough for me. But it's no, it's it's crispy. Um, but that to say, it only comes single action, double action. It doesn't come with a decocker at all. It's just single action, double action with a safety. So, I mean. There, I guess there's a war there. Some people, there's everybody has their opinion on that. But I'm used to the PO7, so I wish I had the decocker. But yeah, just decock it while you're at the range. Be safe. Yeah, be super, super safe whenever you're decocking. Mm -hmm. um, but all in all, I think it was a really good experience. I think it's a good carry gun. Um, a little bit heavy for me personally, but it was a uh, it was a blast to shoot. I think it was awesome. Hands down, my favorite gun. Yeah, and that I've got at least. I was convinced, you know, like I said, hipsters, dude. Hipsters usually carry CZs or people that are trying to do something different, but like rightfully so, it's a it's an excellent gun. I think one big thing that they're selling is the aesthetics. Um, the looking good is half the battle, and everybody wants their gun to look good. This thing is, uh, it doesn't take much. It's it's gorgeous. Um, I think the natural like ergonomic grip and the curves and everything, it really feels really good in your hand. But just as far as it looks, you know, the machining is really nice, quality. Um, he's got it decked out, perfect for carry. Steven, you want to go over the stuff? Yeah. So it's the Eotech E-Flex red dot with the TLR-7A. Uh, we had one of our coworkers, Bob, make me a holster for it because nobody really had that set up yet on it. 
but with this dot it's 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 cheating it really is this thing is a laser it's what a dime at 10 yards yeah it absolutely was it absolutely was yeah like we picked up the pace and everything and we wore those targets out it was it was pretty rad pretty rad trigger trigger pull is amazing i mean the single action the double action one was really good but two the single action trigger pull is just crispy and light the resets beautiful it feels like a competition gun, but something in more of a carry size. Like you can run it. You can really run it like some of the more full size CCs. Definitely, especially with it being just a little bit heavier, or right. like not too heavy. Right. Just makes it so pleasant to shoot. Mm -hmm. In closing, um, if I was looking to get into a carry gun and comfort wasn't my top priority, this would be at the very top of the list. Also, if I hadn't bought into like I've already pretty much bought into the Glock family and I'm I'm kind of I live there. But if I was getting out and starting out buying new holsters and mags and stuff like that this would be a top contender it's a uh, perfectly capable carry gun um it's not it, not ridiculously bulky or anything like that but it's also you know not too small either hit uh it's a happy medium yeah it's thin enough to where you don't really feel it when you're carrying it a lot and the appendix rig that i have say what you will on my shadow with appendix just don't be stupid you're fine yeah yeah, just, I mean, that's the main thing without a decocker and stuff like that. You're going to have to be safe with it. It definitely yep. is a little bit more responsibility like that for sure. But um, safety first, four weapon safety rules. Everything's yep. cool. If you really want to, you can decock it and still run the safety when it's on the half cock. Yeah, like the half cock, half cock position. But if you like the video, be sure to follow and like and subscribe and comment and share. Because all those things help us out. Keep your eyes out for more footage. There's going to be a lot of it coming. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to go shoot again. Dude, yeah, that thing's a monster, dude. Let's, I can't wait.